Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Friday, July 5th. I usually have a haul on Fridays, but I really don't have anything to share uh, that I bought this week. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different and share some projects that I made for Scrap Diva Designs on my Friday video. The only thing I wanted to share with you are two pieces of jewelry I got, and I got these both on TJ Maxx online, and they're not the same brand, but they're both sterling silver. I got this ring, which I think is so pretty, and I think it was like $15 maybe. And then I got a bracelet that looks very similar, and it has an adjustable uh, clasp at the at, at the back. So um, I will link these down below in case you're interested. I thought I would show those because I do, you know, wear jewelry in my videos. Um, I got a few other things from TJ Maxx online. I got um, a pair of pants and a sweatshirt and some perfume so you know that's all i got this week so um I, I will have more coming up next week i'm sure i have a few outstanding orders coming in but i did wanted to make a video today because of course you guys are used to seeing a video from me from me on fridays so i hope you enjoyed this one um, i have been working on the scrap diva designs july release you've probably hopefully seen some other videos that i made i do have a playlist on my channel for a scrap diva design video so make sure you check that out so i made uh, a couple more projects that I wanted to share with you today and I will link all of these products down below in the description box my referral link is always there if you click on that and place an order at scrapdivadesigns.com I do get a commission of the sale thank you so much to everybody who uses that referral link it really does help me out and my channel and also don't forget to use my coupon code strawberry cream at checkout to receive 10% off of your order all right, so let's get started with the first project. Uh, this one I just whipped up really quickly this morning. This one is the, it's called the Ticket Memory Decks. And I love to make memory decks cards. They're just so fun to include in Happy Mail. You can decorate it, decorate it any way you want and then somehow put your information on the back or in a pocket or something like that. So this one comes with four different pieces and here is the outer piece of the memory decks and it cuts it out, looks like two tickets or actually one ticket, one giant ticket. And then uh, it leaves stitch lines on the inside, it cuts out the notches for the edge of the ticket and then the memory index notches at the bottom. And then there's a layering piece for that that is stitched as well. And then it comes with two tickets you can make too. So it comes with the larger one and the smaller one. And I didn't use the smaller one in this project, but I did make a little pocket out of the larger ticket. So let me show you what I made. And this is it, and I think it looks so cute, right? So for the background piece, I used a piece of like pink polka dot paper. The other side is this cute ice cream cone. I forget, I, it was just a scrap in my summer paper bin, so I don't know who makes this one, but um, anyway, I thought it went really well with the paper that is the main focus of this project. And if you could see it back there, the tickets are kind of in the way, but that's paper that I got at Hobby Lobby a long time ago, and it is this one. I don't know if they still have it. It's by the Paper Studio when they were 59 cents. I think they're 79 cents maybe now. I don't remember. But anyway, so I had this in my stash and I was just looking through my papers and found this and I thought, oh, well, this would be perfect for this memory dex card. I wasn't even planning to make the memory dex card yet, but I figured since I found that paper, I should make it. So I cut the layering piece out of that paper there. And then the word tickets comes from an older Scrap Diva design set, which is the 3D wallet. And it comes with the word ticket and a shadow. So I tickets and the shadow. And then, so I use that for the front of my little pocket. And the pocket I made using, like I said, the smaller, actually no, the larger of the um, ticket dies that comes with the memory decks and just cut that out of some plain vellum and then I use some red line tape on the sides and on the bottom and you, you really can't see it um, you know you can't see it very much at all through the through the vellum so I think that that's a good way to adhere vellum so I put that on there and then I fussy cut out some of the tickets from this paper and put them inside the little pocket so whoever gets this can have some ready-made tickets that they can use in their embellishments. So this, these two are stuck together. Okay. So anyway, those are the tickets I included. And if you take them out, you could see the detail more of the paper behind. So really, really simple. Um, I would probably put uh, another like 
square or something here with my information before I send it out. But I like that it's so nice and thin because sometimes, you know, I love big, thick memory decks cards too, nice chunky ones. But it's nice to have thin ones too. You know, they don't take up too much room on your memory decks, um, you know, wheel or however you store them. So, um, yeah, so that's the uh, ticket memory decks. Let me measure this for you. And this is about, let's see, a little bit over four inches from side to side. And then top to bottom, it is about three and a quarter inches. This um, separate or ticket is, let's see, that's about two or, yeah, two and three quarter inches side to side and about two, less than two and a quarter, almost two and a quarter top to bottom. So super cute, right? And I found the word tickets because I just did a search on scrapdivadesigns.com for ticket and up popped the ticket memory decks and the uh, wallet, um, the 3D wallet. So I knew that I had that, so I just went ahead and got it out of my stash and put it on top. So use that search feature if you if you think you have something, like I, I'm pretty sure I had a die that said tickets on it, but I wasn't sure what die set it came from or you know where it came from. So anyway, it just came up on my search results. So that's how I use, that's why I use that there. So isn't that cute? I just love that. And it came together so quick. All right, so that's the first project I made. And then I made my next project with a few of the new die sets, including this one. And this one is called the Flamingo Embellishment. So this makes two different flamingos. Um, they're pretty much the same, but just mirrored, um, you know, different sides, one's facing left and one's facing right. And they come with lots of different embellishments. I love the wing here with the veining that it comes with. You could even make that into a leaf if you wanted to. It does come with leaves to go with the flower dies that it comes with. It, it comes with um, eyelashes as well. This is part of the nose. Um, this is part of the nose as well. And it comes with like the spindly legs that flamingos have. So I made two of those. I'll show you in a second. I want to show you this first. Um, this is the base and I made this into a card. This is the Hibiscus Mini Album. And these are just some extra pieces that I had. So this, I should have taken this out already. Sorry about that. So this comes with um, all the pieces you need to make a really pretty like tropical mini album. But I do like to make cards out of my mini albums lots of times. So that's what I did. And let me just show you the pieces. So this is the outer piece, really nice and big, as you can see. I'll measure it for you uh, in a second. And here's the inner layering piece. It cuts out this frame, the stitch frame, as well as the inside flower. So if you wanted to, you can cut this out twice and use the frame in a different color, which is what I did, I'll show you. And then this is really cool. This is the, the center of the hibiscus. So it's a really pretty, like big, like uh, burst of a, um, center. So use that, of course. And then it comes with the stamen too. I didn't use that for this project. And then this is a center for the uh, flower center. So the flower center center. So let me show you what I made. I made like a kind of shabby chic little card. And here it is. Isn't that so pretty? I just love the soft colors. And of course, I did use my favorite Irala Mija shop paper. Um, this is one of the, her floral papers that I just print out over and over again. It comes in different colors. And this is just like the cream color background, as you can see. And then for the frame, I cut out of my favorite white glitter paper. That's from Joann's. This one doesn't have like any iridescence or, you know, like uh, other colors to it. It's just white. So I love that. And I use that for the flower center center as well. And let's look at these flamingos. Aren't they so pretty? So I cut them out of Ralamiha shop paper and then also the, the um, heart paper and the gingham paper that I always use from Etsy from Color Reeve Studio. And this one I used in the pink and pink again. And then the, the uh, tip of the nose I cut out of that same white glitter paper. The wings, I just kind of alternated the patterns and I did pop those up on some foam tape to give them a little dimension. The legs I cut out of that white glitter paper as well. The flower center I cut out, I don't know if you can see, but it's a very subtle like light green gingham paper from that same um, paper pack that the pink one comes from. So I had that in my stash, I hadn't been using it and I thought it just went perfectly here with the soft colors. 
The word hello comes from a die set that I had in my stash that I've had for years. I, uh, it's just, you know, one of the ones I think I got from Tuesday morning a long time ago. And I just cut a little banner out as well and popped that up on some foam tape too. Um, I doubled the die cut so it would stand out a little bit more out of pink paper and the white glitter paper. And I think it's just so pretty. You can have these flamingos facing each other or facing away like this. It, they just look like they're kind of being shy together. And then the flowers I cut out of the uh, flower dies from this die set as well. And I think they look so pretty. I did add some little flower um, gems and then some diamond dots on top of those. So they're really nice and dimensional, those flowers. And I think they just look so pretty in the flamingo's hair or whatever you call it. And I did cut out some little leaves too from a Rala Miha shot paper. And then to, um, to connect the top and the bottom or the front and the back of the card, I used a bread. And this is a white button bread that I got at Michael's on clearance a long time ago. So let me measure this before I open it. Um, the longest part of this card is about six and a quarter inches. And then top to bottom, it is about, it's about five and a half inches. So let's open this up and a bread, you know, you just slide it apart. So on the inside, I used the frame that cut out when I cut this part out. So I just saved that and glued that onto the backing piece of the card. And then I used that pale green gingham paper again to make the center of that flower. So you could do that if you're making this a mini album. You could use this brad or, you know, um, like a ring binder to make a mini album closure. Whatever, whatever way you want to do your closure, if you want to make it into a mini album. But I thought this would just be a nice little hello card. So that's, you know, how a brad looks. Once you punch some holes and then put your brad through and then open it up, then it's just easy to open and close. So I think this would make a really pretty mini album. But, um, you know, I just like to make cards. And I like to experiment with different closures too. So that's why I used a brad for this one. I was going to make a hinge and then I thought, well, let's try a brad and see how that goes. And I think this, this button one looks very shabby chic too. So yeah, um, that's my projects for today, or those are my projects for today. I hope you like them. Sorry for the very short little haul, but um, you know, this is just one of those weeks when I didn't really buy anything and some, some, are, some are great and some are not so great, but I hope you did enjoy these projects. I really did have a lot of fun making them. I'll be working on more um, Scrap Diva Designs projects this weekend. And of course, next week I'll have more things to share with you. So let me know what you think about these projects. They'll be linked down below, of course, the dies. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope it's a nice holiday weekend if you're celebrating where you are. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye.